So basically for this first job, it was a small job, like I said before, and I've done this one before. The water is gonna sit so bad on the back patio. It's terrible. She really needs some better drainage, but it is what it is. Quote IQ has teamed up with the window cleaning resource to give away a window cleaning business starter kit. All you have to do is download Quote IQ on the Apple or the Google Play Store, and you have to become a premium or platinum subscriber to be entered to win. Be sure to check out the WCR for all your window cleaning needs. We are going to be announcing the winner on August 1st. Um, so what I did for this one is I did the floor for the concrete. I did the concrete floor for the back patio and also for the garage, as you guys just saw. Also, I did a patio furniture wall down um, she gets a lot of coverage I guess from the overhang on this portion of her back patio so um, it just gets a lot of mildew on it so as you can see I'm hitting the table right now um, overall this job went really well like I said I got all of the walls and all the ceilings on the patio and on the uh, garage covering the only thing that went wrong was just how much water was sitting as you can see right here i had to do this all by hand because i was just getting way too much water sitting um to use the service cleaner so as you can see here i'm doing the service cleaner and this didn't even come out that clean i mean there's been mildew on here for so long i think that you know it's it's chipped off some of the brick as well so you'll see at the end um at the after portion of the video it didn't come out super clean but it did still come out pretty well and also, all the equipment that I'm using in this video, I will try to link down in the description. I haven't linked my service cleaner because I can't find my service cleaner on Amazon. And I bought it from a pressure washing store um, here in my local area. So I'll see if I can find it online and link it below. Um, but in a lot of my videos, I've been having a lot of the pressure washing police coming in here and telling me exactly what I should and shouldn't be doing. So thank you guys for policing my videos. No, I'm just kidding. But um, I do appreciate the constructive criticism. It's just when people try to get rude and tell me that everything I'm doing is wrong. I mean, it's just like, dude, you know, keep your comment to yourself unless you're going to offer some sort of, you know, value constructively. You know what I mean? Um, so here I'm just giving the little table a wash down. Like I said, I did all the patio furniture. She just wanted it all washed down because it had some pretty bad mildew on it. Um, but yeah, like I said, link to everything below. And if you guys want to watch any of my other videos, any of my other job recaps, I will leave those down in the comment section below so you guys can check those out as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a quote here this week for a house wash job. And for the house wash, I'm going to try and do a soft wash. I've been looking at some tips online. I also saw um, a gun, a soft wash gun that some of the other YouTube channels were showing off in their videos, but they none of them left links. So I can't find the soft wash gun anywhere. So I'm just gonna have to use uh, some of the soft wash tips and I'll have to show you guys, you know, whatever chemicals I end up using, my chemical mixture, and also, um, I forgot what the last thing I was gonna say was, but I'll give you guys a complete breakdown. As you guys can see here, this is the after. The concrete didn't come out perfect, but oh well. You can see all the siding and everything came out really well. Um, all the patio furniture came out well. She was very happy with the job that I did.